Yo, what's up guys, Nemesis here, and in this video, I'm actually going to be playing P.E.K.K.A with Phoenix, because, um, I actually think that this is a really strong version of P.E.K.K.A, in my personal opinion, because Phoenix is literally super, super strong in the meta, and, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but I used to play a lot of P.E.K.K.A Phoenix back then when the Phoenix was basically never nerfed, and it was super good, right? Um, it was a really super good variation to use, um, really good on defense, and since the Phoenix can take a lot of damage as well, um, you know, very uh, invulnerable, I guess you could say, against arrows and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, P.E.K.K.A Phoenix is really good, but... Right now, Phoenix is super good in the meta, so it's a really solid variation, and I really think you guys should give it a shot. And uh, also, if I'm a little bit more quiet in this video, it's because it's literally 1 in the morning. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I just gotta you know whisper a little bit more because, uh, you know, it's pretty late. And uh, yeah, you know, um, let's see here. I'm gonna go for a battering right here. <clears throat> and yeah, that is a missed bomb tower placement, which is super good for me. Um, obviously, this isn't the greatest matchup. Um, because he's got goblins, obviously. So, um, yeah. That phoenix is just going to uh, do its thing right now. And I'm just going to be chilling out, you know? I'm just going to be chilling out. Phoenix will get one shot on the tower, which is always a very nice thing to do, or, you know, nice thing to have. Go for Bandit right there, and he's just gonna like, spam me like crazy right here. I'm just gonna spam him like crazy then. Yeah, there's the OP goblins again, because um, they haven't gotten nerfed yet, but hopefully... Actually, I think they are kind of getting nerfed in the next... Well... It's technically a rework, but I think it's a nerf. I'm not really sure though. Or it could be a buff, but uh, yeah. Because people are saying that it's actually kind of a buff. I can't really see that reasoning, to be honest, but I just kind of look further into it. But yeah, this matchup really isn't the greatest because of goblins, so yeah. I'm just gonna zap that. Phoenix does respawn. Phoenix is literally on the tower. Oh my gosh. Phoenix was on the tower. Wow. Phoenix, he just clutched up right there. That's going to be game. So GG's. Well played. And let's go ahead. Jump to the next game. Okay, here's the next game. I got Bandit, Zap, Royal Ghost, and Pekka. It's going to go for an Ice Spirit. Let's go for Bandit in the bag. I'm just going to be chilling out here. Let's play the Royal Ghost in the back. It's got skeletons as well. Ice Golem 2. So this is definitely looking like 2.6. Yeah, it's 2.6 right there, so... Really bad matchup. These matchups are literally not in my favor right now, bro. Like, oh my gosh. But like, can I really be surprised at that point? You know what I'm saying? I feel like I always get bad matchups. But uh, not much I can really do, just try to outplay as much as I possibly can. Um, and yeah, let me know if you guys get bad matchups too, you know. It's honestly no surprise that P.E.K.K.A has a ton of bad matchups, bro. Like, I think P.E.K.K.A needs a buff. Just give P.E.K.K.A a buff, or give, you know, Zap a buff or something like that. It'd be really, really nice. And uh, yeah. Because I honestly don't even remember the last time P.E.K.K.A got in a buff or something. So yeah, I think I honestly, non-bias, non-bias, I think it deserves a slight buff. So yeah. It's going to be basically playing passive right now. Basically, this matchup is to minimize as much damage in single elixir, essentially, by preventing any hog damage. So yeah. And then after that, it's kind of rolling P.E.K.K.A pushes in the back <clears throat> and the weaker side lane. And uh, yeah, nothing too crazy. 
just kind of repeat that process and pray that he messes up on a defense or something, but um, yeah. This E was bandit right there. Nice. Okay, right there. Let's go for a ghost. Poison the musketeers. I always poison the musketeers as well. So um, just be f just because um, I don't want them to get too much value with them. So yeah. Go for a battery map is in here. Go for a bandit in the middle. Go for a ghost in the bag. I don't want to poison that musketeer though because I don't want him to outcycle my poison. So I'm just going to wait for him to play his next musketeer. Just like that. Okay, Ice Spear plus Hog Push. Pretty good play on his end. It's going to give him a Hog Shot. I hate when they do that play because it's basically guaranteed a Hog Shot when they do like an Ice Spirit <clears throat> with their Hog Rider. It's going to do the, you know, the standard Bandit plus Eagles play on that. And I'm just going to be chilling out. I'm going to poison that Musketeer right there. I'm gonna zap that just so I could like minimize some damage. And yeah, this is kind of annoying, man. I'm trying my best out here, but you know, these matchups, man. Hmm. Let's Phoenix the back here. And let's see what he wants to do. Okay, I really thought he was gonna hog with that. That's kind of annoying. I'm going to Bataram with this P.E.K.K.A. right here. Bandit the middle. I tend to Bandit the middle a ton, honestly. Wait, look at the Bataram though. Look at the Bataram. I'm going to spam him. Okay. Bandit plus Electro Wizard this Hog Rider right here. Not bad, not bad. Zap that Musketeer. Okay. No damage for the Hog Rider. I'm just gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep the pressure up right now. I'm just gonna keep the pressure up. Battle Ram. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. That is literally amazing. Oh my gosh, another terrible matchup down the drain right there. Let's go ahead and jump to the next game. All right, here's the next game. I got. Ghost, Pekka, Bandit, and Battle Ram. Bandit the back here. It's got the Skeleton King. We'll just Battle Ram opposite lane. It's got Rascals. Okay, so it's this, you know, this spawner deck and stuff like that. I actually prefer Phoenix in this matchup as opposed to, you know, the minions or maybe even Magic Archer because Phoenix is really good against the Skeleton King and his Phoenix as well because if you just play, you know, like a P.E.K.K.A. in front of your Phoenix when they Phoenix, your Phoenix will obviously win and stuff like that and you get a pretty solid counter push, so. I'm just going to be chilling out. Let's bandit this real quick. And uh, let's see here. You can play goblins as well. You know, another goblins. Goblins are literally everywhere. Just hope. Hopefully that rework, you know, makes the usage rate go down a bit. That'd be really nice. <laughs> Cause if anything, bro, the only decks I really lose to are goblin decks. So, yeah, any other deck that doesn't have goblins, I'm I'm pretty chill with to be honest with you. Like, it sounds weird, but I actually don't mind getting Splash Yard as a matchup. Even though Splash Yard isn't the greatest, I'll rather get Splash Yards all the time than playing against Goblin decks. I'm not even trolling. Let's 
Let's go for a ghost in the back here. Go for a bandit as well. Mm, go for a phoenix right here, just to DPS down that skeleton king. Okay, this can get a little sketchy right here. Yeah. Zap that. Okay, that was a pretty aggressive poison. I'm gonna spam him like crazy. That was like a really aggressive poison. I'm gonna poison the rascals right here. And that is honestly a ton of damage for me. That is a ton of damage for me. Look at the Phoenix just putting in so much work against the Rascal Boy. And it's going to force out a Phoenix on his end, which is super nice for me. Just a lot at the back here. It's gonna poison again though. I think at this point I could just single link pressure a ton. Alright, I'm just going to poison the hut. And look at the battle ram. Perfect. Yeah, the battle ram just gets the connection. Let's go ahead and jump to the next game. Alright, here's the next game. I got poison, electro wizard, zap, and bandit. Okay. I just phoenixed right there because I feel like he's going to tornado this. I'm genuinely so confused. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what that play was. Okay, well, well, there's that. Was not expecting that play whatsoever. Because <laughs> I thought he was going to tornado the bandit, but I don't know what he did in the beginning, to be quite honest with you. I'm going to bandit these wall breakers. I'll pick up the back because he just used wall breakers, so he can't really punish me right now. Be chilling out. Okay, he's gonna go for a magic archer in the back. I'm just gonna poison this magic archer. Um, nothing too crazy here, honestly. Just kind of playing passively right now. Um, I'm gonna zap these spear goblins to force out something else. There's the wall breaker, so I'll just go for my royal ghost right there. And I don't think he had. Okay, he definitely doesn't have that much elixir, I think. Why? What? How does he have that much elixir still, bro? I could have. I feel like he was way lower than having enough for a bomb tower. That's why I did that battle ram right there, but I guess not. Let's go for a peck in the back here. I feel like he's gonna magic archer the bridge too. So, I'm gonna try to predict it. Yeah, he didn't even do it. He's gonna Magic Archer right there, though. I'm gonna Royal Ghost. Yeah, you gotta be really careful in this matchup, though, to prevent him from getting a ton of Magic Archer chip, because that's what the. Yeah, they do that a ton. Like, that's just what they do, you know? They just Magic Archer the bridge like crazy. And then they just tornado it last second when all your troops are about to hit the magic archer. It gets really annoying, so. Go for a lecture wizard right here. And there's the magic archer right there, getting a ton of value. I'm gonna battle ram right here. Okay, it's gonna bomb tower. Zap that. Okay, this is really good for me. I think I'm just gonna peck at the back because he doesn't have wall breakers in rotation. And wow, that was a terrible tornado. That actually was really nice for me. Yeah, he just gave up, so that's really good. Um I'm actually really glad he gave up, so uh yeah, he didn't play the greatest, but I'll definitely take that win any day of the week. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll take more videos in the future.